Um, Pre-love shopping is different to any other kind of shopping. It's fossicking, it's foraging, it's an archaeological dig. And this is what it was like for me when I was shopping in San Francisco and really getting into the spirit of being in that store where at any moment Tutankhamun's cave might suddenly appear. And that's when I discovered this animal print trench coat. It just ticked every single possible box, but it was just the right length and the right colour. It was great for my short arms and my big boobs. And, and so, like, this whole thing's going on. When it literally struck me, it was a road to Damascus. Stop what you're doing. Recognition, remembrance that I had three other animal print trench coats at home. Fairly similar, if not exactly the same, at least one of them. Why did it take four, four of the same items for me to get to that point of saying, what is enough? When is enough? Am I enough? Your physicalness has a lot to do with it. Seriously, not feeling thin enough or tall enough or good looking enough or attractive enough or relevant enough. You hit 40 and, and all of a sudden this relevancy becomes a, a, an issue. If you're cool in your 20s, you can't be cool in your 40s. You know, am I not connected enough? Am I not networked enough? Am I not wealthy enough? Am I not successful enough? Am I not visible enough? And that's the true excavation. It doesn't happen in a pre-love store. It happens in those interior moments when you have that courage to really allow the questions to arise. You don't need to hunt those questions out. They're there. They're just waiting for you to shut up, stop buying, and look at them. I've met a lot of women who shop too much, who hate themselves. And, and that's a really big thing, because you're really getting at the nub of it when you talk about self-loathing. And when you shop too much, you're literally trying to fill yourself up. That's what you're trying to do, you're trying to cover it up. And until you recognise nothing you put on What follows closely is what will other people think? And I've had to learn to close that off because if I add the awful things I think other people might say to the awful things that I'm already hearing, you can't cope with that amount of criticism. You just give up. And if other people um, think I'm an idiot, I'll probably agree with them. Um, but it's really none of my business what anybody else thinks. And everybody has something. And when you think about that, you know, everybody has something that um, uh, is at the core of who they are.